And this is Redbeard, and on this adventure, motorcycle touring for beginners. Have you been wanting to take that long motorcycle ride to that distant place, but just aren't sure how to do it? Have you been watching YouTube videos thinking, I'll do that one day? I want to share some tips I've picked up along the way so you can enjoy motorcycle touring and start going to those dreamed of places. If we're just meeting, I'm Redbeard. I got back into motorcycle riding in 2016, six months after my cancer diagnosis. Riding saved my life, and I pray it helps you fight whatever you're dealing with. So what is motorcycle touring? I'll define this as going a long distance to see or visit a person or place. So what's long distance? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'll say that long distance is anything outside your normal riding area. Long distance is often thought of as multi-day or a destination ride, but it doesn't have to be. When I did my bun burner silver, I just wanted to see part of Canada. I had no destination and no particular place. Typically when I do touring, I plan my route and sometimes my stops. But some touring is just going. But you need experience to pull that off. Route planning will have its own video. So which motorcycle is best for touring? Now I wanna I wanna answer this one definitively. So here you go. The best motorcycle for touring is uh, the one you have right now. <laughs> Don't go out and buy a motorcycle for touring if you've never toured. There are many questions that go into a, a dedicated touring bike. Uh, the first one being, do you even like it? So use what you have and you'll figure out what you need. So what do you need on your bike? There are a couple of things that can be helpful. Uh, you need a phone mount or a GPS mount so you can tell where you're going. And you'll need a uh, phone or GPS charging so you can keep going where you're going. There are some other things that are helpful too. Like a windshield, highway pegs, a backrest, a drink holder to stay hydrated, and maybe a camera mount to take those pictures. Now we should talk about what to pack, and that all depends on how long you're going. But first, make sure you're wearing the right gear. We got uh, foot protection, you need some gloves, a good helmet. And in that helmet, you may need some type of Bluetooth device to listen to your turn-by-turn -turn directions. But then you also need a good jacket and pants. Uh, I opted for an Aerostitch suit. I believe in all the gear all the time. Nothing ruins a trip more than a trip to the hospital. Oh. Uh, well, that didn't work so well. And so what do I pack for long rides? Well, if you're a hiker or a camper, you can kind of think about the 10 essentials, right? You should have some type of first aid kit. Uh, you need some uh, fire starting. You never know what's going to happen out there on the road. Um, flashlight. I have my Maglite Mini. LED AAA. You may need some tools along the way. You never know what you need to repair. I have the standard kit that came with the Goldwing. I also keep a tire repair kit. Never know when you need an emergency flat fix. I also have an air, compre air compressor. Uh, this is a uh, booster battery pack so I can jump start check air uh, other emergency tools this Gerber multiplier I got some extra gloves you never know when it's gonna get a little chilly or maybe your gloves got wet because of that thunderstorm that came through in my 10 essentials I do have an emergency blanket you can tell this thing's been kicking around for a bit some string and we probably should have better protection a compass for those longer rides, I have a cooler. I can keep uh, uh, cold water in here. I usually keep a hat, so when I take my helmet off, I got something to protect me from the sun. And I also need snacks. For the really long, when I'm doing some camping, I have my MSR cook stove. I have a hammock. An extra pair of glasses. You just never know if something's gonna happen to your glasses. If you are going camping, uh, I usually pack all my clothes in here. 
and I've not fully unpacked from my Sturgis trip. So here's my inflatable camp mat, my chair, it's an REI FlexLite chair. I have a MSR pot. Another thing I have on board is a inverter. Not necessary, but comes in real handy for me. Another nicety, if you want to check on some birds or something, I have a pair of binoculars, have some maps. Here's the tent I carry with me. I got this Kelty tent uh, because it packs square. I have some big long tents. Uh, they just don't pack well on the bike, but the square one does. And let me know if you want to know more about my tent. You've seen this in a number of my videos. I've done a bit of tent camping. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want to know more about it or my other camping gear I bring along. Uh, one thing I've done with this inverter in the past is I plug in this little crock pot. This is a tiny little thing. Holds a good cup of soup. Um, I've used that, especially on really long rides and I'm trying to hurry. Throw some soup in there uh, with a crock pot liner and uh, it heats up while I'm riding. I make a stop, eat warm soup. Wonderful thing. Uh, but that's uh, longer rides. Typically a bar or something is sufficient. Other things to consider is a saw and a hatchet. I've uh, had both of these for a little while. Uh, I haven't mentioned sleeping bag because I'm not real happy with my warm weather sleeping bag. I just picked up a cheap $10 sleeping bag when I got the Sturgis this last time. So how do you go on these long distance rides? Well, long distance riding is, is like a sport, right? I started long distance riding after I was too sick to run. I've, I've run a few marathons and what have you, and when I could no longer do that, I ended up long distance riding. And, and there was training involved, especially if you don't have a, quote, touring bike, right? Start small. Uh, if you've never ridden 50 miles, ride 50 miles. You know, whatever the distance is, it's just a little beyond what you've done before, ride that. And then, like, the next weekend, ride a little further. When I was building up to ride 1,000 miles uh, in one day on my uh, 2015 CBR 300R, who I call Saunus. Uh, I start off by riding 250 miles and 400, 500 on like that. When I got up to about 800 miles, I knew I was ready for the 1,000 miler. You have to build up. and This gets you accustomed to your bike and allows you to determine what you need to make it comfortable. I, uh, I added satellite radio to my tank bag. You can check that video out. Uh, a Camelback backpack uh, on my bike, strapped on there. And uh, to the, my back seat, my pillion, I strapped on an ergo seat, right? So I needed that nice cushion uh, to give my bottom a break. Because uh, the seat was bone stock. Uh, and so the, and the CBR 300R is a very hard seat. Uh, the only non-stock thing that was on the bike at the time uh, was a front sp sprocket. And you can check out that video to see how I changed that. Uh, it was on this 1,000-mile trip uh, that I decided I wanted or needed a bigger bike. That 1,000-mile trip was uh, the Tour of Honor, and you can check out that video as well. You can do long distance on any bike, but like I said at the beginning, once you start, you'll start to figure out what you want or what you need. Another way to build up your miles is to begin picking places you can go. So where... Could you pick, well, national parks, state parks, a relative's house, a new state, a new city, and go to the coast for some fish and chips. A friend's house, just pick a route and enjoy. The more you ride, the smaller your world becomes. If you do start reaching 1,000 miles, you may want to check out the Iron Butt Association, but most people will be happy to ride to that remote restaurant, and that's now their favorite place. You know what they say, give a man a fish, he eats for a day, Teach a man to ride a motorcycle, and he'll ride 200 miles for fish and chips. I pray this has been helpful for you to begin touring, or maybe I've provided some ideas to make your motorcycle touring more enjoyable. Please ask any questions you have in the comment sections. I'd be happy to talk with you. Until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.